now we are going to discuss the different theories of origin of meristem first theory was given by nagele which was apical cell theory according to this only apical cell is dividing due to which the entire plant is formed but this theory is not valid in case of higher angiosperm while it is valid in lower plants now come the dermatogen theory this was originally given for root however it is valid for shoot apex also now then comes tunica corpus theory this was given for by skimnit for shoot apex however it is also valid for root apex then comes carpor kappa theory this was given by swep and lastly modern theory in modern theory waiting meristem theory which was given by bowart then came clove cushion center theory these are two modern theories then comes xylem xylems are of three types arrangement of xylem are of three types exact xylem if proto xylem is towards the periphery and dark xylem if proto xylem is towards the center and mesar if both inner and outer are proto xylem example as found in fern then comes vascular bundle the arrangement of vascular bundles are of different types first is radial if xylem and phloem are separate then we call radial vascular bundle example all roots then conjoined vascular bundle if xylem and phloem are kept together then we call it conjoined vascular bundle now comes there are three types first is collateral means xylem and phloem are side by side second is bicollateral if xylem is surrounded on both side by phloem and double layer of vascular cambium is found example in cucurbits while concentric if at the same center xylem and phloem are attached now coming to collateral type collateral type of in vascular bundle are of two types collateral open example in dicot if xylem and phloem are separated by vascular cambium then we call it open type as in dicots while closed vascular bundle where xylem and phloem do not have cambium intervening them example on monocots then comes concentric concentric in concentric first type is hydrocentric where hydrome or xylem is at center example amphicribal example all ferns and other is leptocentric or amphi vessel where phloem is surrounded around by xylem example dracaena stems now coming to ts of root the basic difference between ts of dicot and monocot root lies in in dicot we are having dark to hexarch xylem while polyarch is found in monocots a small pith is there in dicot while large pith is there in monocot similarly in ts of stem we are having one basic difference in dicot we are having vascular bundles arranged in stellar region only with pith in between while in monocot we are having scattered vascular bundles now in ts of leaf we are having the basic difference in dicot we are having hypostomatic leaf where stomata is found only at the lower surface while in monocot we are having amphistomatic where where stomata are at both the surface similarly buliform cells are present in monocot leaf like grasses but they are absent in dicot leaf now lastly coming to the secondary growth in secondary growth we are having two types in intrastellar region and second in extrastellar region in intrastellar region it is given by vascular cambium as in stem we are first of all cambial ring is formed due to the activity of interface intravascular vascular bundle and extravascular vascular uh, uh, and intravascular vascular bundle and intervascular vascular cambium now see what we have cambial ring is formed due to the the activity on both side of intravascular vascular cambium due to which inter intervascular vascular cambium is complete and cambial ring is ultimately formed so due to formation of cambial ring secondary growth starts inside we secondary xylem is formed and outer to it secondary phloem is formed so ultimately pith is vanished and we are having the secondary growth in spring season we are having a lot of xylem growth while in autumn season we are having very less growth hence distinct cambial rings are formed these are known as annual rings the spring wood is lighter while autumn wood is darker in color hence alternate rings are formed while the pith and primary xylem are completely vanished hence to for conduction loose parenchyma cell arises from re initial which are known as medullary rays so inner inner cambium is in sorry inner the wood is very compact hence we call it hard wood while outer is light and conducting whom we call sap wood or alveolum so apart from xylem whatever there is in a dicot stem later on is consists inside the bark so this is the secondary growth in in the intrastellar region now coming to secondary growth in intrastellar region in root in root we have wavy cambial ring this is the only difference because 
vessel and phloem vessel xylem and phloem they are in radial arrangement hence initially wavy cumbed ring is formed which later on becomes circular in root is the only difference between root and stem intra stellar region secondary growth now coming to the extra stellar region secondary growth the extra stellar region secondary growth is given by cork cambium or phloem which on outer side gives cork or phloem and on inner side gives the secondary cortex or phloem this entire tissue is known as periderm so this are the number of annual rings in a plant reveals the age of plant this science is known as dendrochronology so with that we end our secondary growth